Hi YouTube, it is Tuesday, May 20th. Aww, hi sweetie. It's been a few days since I've taken an actual video clip. Um, it's been a little bit chaotic. This one was going through an allergic reaction and end up with a bad rash all over her body, except for her legs, oddly enough. Her legs only developed a rash yesterday and seems to be almost gone today. We went to the walk-in clinic. She started developing it on Friday evening and it was just a few little spots under her arms and down her side, but by bedtime there were a lot more spots and by Saturday morning she was covered in dark red blotches. I'm going to see if I can insert a, vid or, um, a picture into this video just to show you what it looked like. Hmm, it doesn't look like I can add a video or a picture into it. So I might have to find a different way of doing that. But she ended up with some very large dark red angry blotches all over her body. And then by yesterday they were starting to fade but new ones were developing. And by today now they are all pretty much gone which is great. Uh, what else? So it was a little bit hectic on Saturday morning when, I, when she woke up and I saw that her rash was much worse. I took her... We took her to the, uh, sorry my brain's not working, we took her to the walk-in clinic to, to get her checked out and to find out, <coughs> sorry I'm waiting for a package, yeah we took her to the walk-in clinic to find out if it was something serious, if there was anything we could be doing for it, she didn't seem upset, she was taking it all in good stride. The doctor basically said it's hives, it's an allergy likely to something she ate within the last two weeks. And because we do baby lead weaning, we have had a really hard time trying to think back over the last two weeks as to what was new and what could have caused it. So we're kind of at a loss. We're just, I'm hoping that that wasn't the first reaction because with one that was as bad as it was, it will likely be a fairly serious reaction the next time that she's exposed to it. So, here's hoping that it was kind of just a one-time thing and she's not going to end up with it again. And today is Tuesday, so we had our buggy workout uh, class. And so we went and worked out. It was a little on the warm side, not going to lie. I pushed myself quite a bit harder than normal because it's my second to last class. Uh, Thursday's my last class. And then we came home, had a nap trying to get her to fall asleep in her playpen without rocking. Basically getting her to fall asleep in her playpen. Did not go so well. Uh, she started to fuss a little bit and kept giving her her soother which she kept spitting out. Gave her her little puppy. She didn't like that either. I tried laying on the floor beside the play, uh, pack and play and that didn't end so well either. In the end after about half an hour I ended up picking her up and rocking her to sleep and by that point she was so upset that she was having trouble falling asleep because she was she had that crying frantic breathing where are you going she's busy bear crawling away in the grass so she's going to be going down for a nap again shortly i'm going to give it another shot i'm not going to give it as long as what i did earlier today because that was just it's too hard. It made me feel horrible about going to work again. Cause still don't want to go back to work. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. One day I'll be able to stay home. What do you get? You've got bark mulch on you. That stuff gives you slivers. Come on. Let's walk over here. Whoa. There you go. She's almost walking. Again, she will likely walk at daycare for her f the first time. And we just did some shopping because Mummy has started a new business. Mummy had to go and get some envelopes and stamps and things like that. So we went shopping, bought some groceries. We're having lasagna tonight. And then we're... You don't want to stand by yourself? You can do it! Yeah. 
We're gonna have lasagna Ooh. and garlic bread and peas and beans, I believe, for supper tonight. And then we're gonna do bath and bed. Should be great. Countdown really begins on going back to work. Again, something I don't really want to do, but can't really uh, avoid it. She's so little and yet so big. You throwing everything in the bathtub? Good job, nice tippy toes. Now what are you gonna throw in there? Your shoes? <gasps> That's your shoe! You can throw it in the bathtub if you want. Got your shoe again. Good job. Should we go have some breakfast? We're gonna work out today. It's a nice sunny day. Hi guys, it is May, what is it? It's May 25, 24, yeah. May 22nd today, sorry. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've been a little bit, um, I've been slacking a little bit in the filming department. Things have just been really busy. I haven't really been doing much that's interesting, so I haven't been filming much. I just got finished workout. It's my last workout class. Yesterday was my last baby group class. Today we have our last sign language class. Tomorrow we have our last nursery rhyme class. It's just a week of lasts. It makes me very sad. I don't want it to end. Uh, and then next week on Monday we start our gradual entry into daycare. So hopefully she does well with that. And then I'll be back to work the week after that. My work is has posted and has some applicants for a an assistant for myself. And I will likely be going in next week, even though I'm not working yet, to Oh, sorry, distracted. I'll be going in for the interviews for that as they will be reporting to me so ultimately they will they want me to be part of the interview process and to give my two cents worth. So we'll see how that goes and if Apparently there's three applicants for my position and I get to help choose one of them. It may or may not be when Katie's in daycare, she might be coming with me, haven't a clue yet. They may potentially make it until, or make the interviews after June 2nd and just delay the start of that position. They haven't quite decided yet, which they really should because it's getting close. So I've submitted my, que my questions to the HR person that I would like to know from the applicants and we'll go through with that interview process. Uh, what else? Yeah, it's just been a really sad time. We're trying to get Kaylee to sleep in her pack and play by herself without being rocked to sleep. 
and we attempted that on Tuesday. Yep, yesterday? I don't remember. We attempted that on one of the days and it was an utter failure. She cried for 10 minutes. I didn't leave the room. I stayed right there. I tried to get her to take her soother, take her puppy, get her to lie down. But it ended up in her whining and fussing and then it escalated to crying and then I ended up holding her to sleep as per normal. And we actually ended up with her staying awake for another 10 minutes getting herself calm enough to fall asleep. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm hoping it will go okay once she's in daycare because I think right now that's the hardest thing. One of the hardest things about putting her in daycare is we've worked so hard to get her on this nice little schedule and I know what to expect out of her and that's all gonna change when she goes into daycare. She will likely end up transitioning down to one nap a day because she'll be so busy during the day that she won't want to nap until she's just exhausted and then she'll go down for like a three hour nap. So coming home she's gonna likely be grumpy and tired and it'll be dinner time and then bedtime. So that's one of them and the second is she's still not walking. We're, again, we're probably gonna miss that. She's not confident in standing yet, still, either, so it's going to be a little while before she starts walking. She's getting very talkative, though, as you can hear in the back there. Ta-da! We're about to head home. She's going to have a quick nap while I get cleaned up a little bit. Today was a really warm day. I pushed myself as hard as I could. My muscles were quivering by the end. And... I'm probably going to feel it later, Whew. but I wanted to push myself as hard as I could knowing it's my last one for this baby. Although I, once we have another child, I will be getting into it much earlier because I have a feeling it's going to be a lot easier to lose the weight earlier in postpartum than it is at 11 months postpartum. I haven't weighed myself actually in quite a while. And I always weigh myself in the morning, so I think tomorrow morning I will weigh myself and post a little bit of an update on my postpartum get fit. I know that I still don't fit into my pre-pregnancy pants, but my hips are just too wide. That's that's the big issue. Is It's not that I still have too much fat on me, it's my hip bones have separated too much, and I can't get into those. So, oh, excuse me, I'm so tired now. So when she's in daycare next week or maybe this weekend or whenever I need to go shopping and pick up some new pants. I can still wear most of my shirts it's just my pants are no longer fitting. There we go. We are home so I'm going to end this clip for now. I'm gonna see if I can take some video at Baby Sign Language. The place that we take it or that we have the course in They've got a sign that says, please no cell phone use. But they also have a sign there that says, if you're taking pictures and other people's children are in it, make sure that it's okay. So I'm hoping that because I can use my phone to take pictures, I will be able to take some video of her playing at the baby sign class. And then, yeah, I think that's it. Talk to you guys in a little bit. So here we are again in the front yard. Uh, I have slacked a little bit on, on vlogging. I just feel like there's nothing to vlog and this week has been super busy but super boring at the same time in a way. So we're, we're hanging out again. Hanging out in the front yard. Playing with a grungy ball. I don't know where it came from. It's a foam ball probably from the neighbors because they've got some young kids. But we're checking it out. It's Friday, it's May 22nd, 23rd, I'm not sure. I'm gonna just combine all my video clips for this week together. I've got video clips, not a lot, but I've got a few. I just haven't been editing them and posting them, so I think I'll put them all in one video. It's gonna be a pain to upload because my phone automatically locks out my uploading program 
if I don't do any or if I don't stay within the program. So if I leave it to go and check Facebook or play Candy Crush, after about five minutes it tells me that it's paused my upload and I have to open the app again. Um, what has happened? So it has been officially the the week of last. So we had our last baby group on Wednesday where we had a nice little uh, picnic. We had some fruit and veggies and wraps and things like that with some of the other moms. And then we had our last workout class on Thursday. I pushed myself, that was yesterday, really hard. So I'm actually feeling it quite a bit today. I'm quite sore. Figured it's my last one, I gotta give it all. I don't need to worry about being sore on Tuesday when I have the next class. Sorry, she's... Sorry, she's trying to walk away from me, so... And get into the bark mulch. Ooh, that was a pretty lens flare. Ooh, sun flare. Ooh. And so that was our last workout class. And then we had our last baby sign language class the day after that. Or, sorry, yesterday afternoon, so Thursday afternoon. And then today was our last Mother Goose singing program. And my mother-in-law joined us today. It was a little impromptu from yesterday. She, called, she messaged me and said, I'm thinking of coming down and visiting. Are you available? So I let her know what was going on and that we were available. And that she could come and join us for the Mother Goose program. Are you eating grass? Don't eat grass, sweetie. And so we did that, and then we went and got a treat. So we went and got some ice cream, and we had some Starbucks, and we had some Subway. And then we came home and ate our uh, ate our subs at home and fed Kaylee some sub. Then she had a nap. She's been not napping well today. She had a really messed up early or morning nap where she fell asleep at like 10.30, woke up at 10 to 11 when I went to go and put her down. So I picked her up knowing that that was way too short for a nap. And it took her about 20 minutes to fall asleep again while I was rocking her. And then she fell asleep, I put her down, and then we had to wake her up to go to our, our baby nursery rhyme class. So she got a total of about 45 minutes to an hour of nap today, or in the morning. And then when we came home, I put her down for another nap after we had lunch, and she only slept for an hour, so I don't know what's happening to these hour and a quarter to two hour long naps that we were getting. Uh, she had a rough night last night for sleep, uh, she was practicing her walking going down the hallway and she stumbled and gave herself a fat lip when her face met the hardwood floor. Her, the underside of her lip, uh, where her lip tie used to be, was a little bit, or was bleeding a little bit, but she settled down pretty quick. We read a story, she nursed, she went to sleep, but, and then she woke up at two, and then she woke up a few times after that, and so it was a little bit of a rougher night. She was waking up crying a lot. I'm hoping tonight's a better night. I could really use a good night of sleep again. And tomorrow, I don't know what we've got planned this weekend. One of my friends is coming into town. Or one of my best friends is coming into town. She moved away. And we're hoping to see her on Sunday. She's got a little boy about the same age as Kaylee. So we'll see, see them. Kaylee. You can't play in the bark mulch. You're going to get slivers. She wants so bad to get into the bark mulch. So incredibly bad. Thank you. Oh, you got all the dried grass on your hand. You want to see yourself? Look. There's Kaylee. Say hi, Kaylee. Hi. Nope. Back to the bark mulch. I think that's about it for now. I'm gonna put in. Oh, sorry. I'm actually not that fond of where the camera is on the iPhone for sideways videoing because you end up covering it up a lot. So I'm gonna kind of put together all the videos that I have over the last couple of weeks and I will post those together and I'll try to do better. I go back to work not this coming week, the week after. We start gradual daycare trend transition um, on Monday 
She goes in for two hours. I'm going into my work on Friday, next Friday, to interview some applicants for an assistant position for myself. And other than that, it's just going to be daycare, 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 getting her used to it, getting her birthday party planned, and getting some running around done without baby. So, talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend. I will see you on Monday. Bye.